All right, so the question that literally none of you have been wondering is where the hell have you been for the last like three weeks? Well, for those of you who saw my Instagram post yesterday, I had a job interview and uh, I'll tell you how that came about. Ooh, look at me referring to a post I made on Instagram yesterday. Me cross-platforming like the slick bastard that I am. Oh, it's good to be out on the bike. I haven't rode in a few days. I spent uh, the end of last week driving my car up from Melbourne as I had a bit of time on my hands and when I came up to Townsville I didn't actually take my car up with me the plan was always to just fly down at some point in the future and collect it so I did that it was uh, three 1000 kilometer plus days in a Toyota Camry I was going to vlog it but uh, then I came to the conclusion that uh, watching somebody drive three 1,000 kilometer plus days in the world's most boring car would have been the world's most boring video. So I didn't bother. Right, well, when I last spoke to you, I had started a new job. However, without going into it too much, I wasn't happy with the conditions there or uh, a few other things, I'm not going to go slating them on YouTube or anything like that, but um, so I ended up quitting. And yesterday I had an interview for a new job, which I got, and I start that on the 20th of August, meaning I now have three weeks off. And due to getting a pretty decent tax return, I even have money to, like, you know, live on for those three weeks. So, uh, yeah, things are coming up nicely. Ah, Townsville. You're not a bad looking town, are you? Let's go for a ride down the beach. Uh, this way, I think. Yeah. Right, so I find myself in the somewhat enviable position of having the next three weeks to do whatever the hell I want in beautiful tropical North Queensland and I have decided that I'm going to make probably two to three videos a week in that time see if I can uh, get the momentum back to my channel as it had been doing quite well before you know life and a bit of stress and all that had gotten in the way so uh We'll see if I can get back on my path to YouTube fame. Man, I'm a lucky boy, am not I? I have enough money to keep myself going while I have three weeks off work. I'd also like to point out that it is 27 degrees today in the middle of winter. Ooh, bikes. Nice bikes are. This is a really motorbike friendly town, Townsville. It's every time I go out, I see heaps and heaps of bikes. This being Australia, the majority are cruisers. However, I do see a lot of sports bikers around the place as well. I've actually joined a Facebook page for Townsville Sport Bike Riders, so hopefully I get to go out in a few group rides with those lads over the next few weeks. I have no excuse not to now. <laughs> CB125. Uh, again, how hard is my life? Just cruising around on a beautiful Tuesday afternoon by the beach, spotting motorbikes. Oh, I'm doing it tough, lads. I'd say you'd pay a few quid for a house around here. You'd probably pay a few quid for uh, home insurance too. So it's not much fun here during cyclone season. Anyway, we're just about at Cape Palarenda now, which is a really lovely spot. 
well worth an old look anyway. All right, let's find us an old uh, place to park, shall we? Hang on, am I allowed to go up there? Let's go up here for the crack. I was going to go down there, but uh, let's do a bit of exploring, shall we? Domestic animals strictly prohibited. Oh, well, that's all good. I think this guy's letting me go through. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Honda Mitsubishi. Sorry, all those little SUVs look exactly the same these days. All right, let's just go in as far as we can here and see what we find. Quarantine station. Hmm. Ooh, these trees are nice. Nice little tunnel formed by them. Wonder how far from the um, end I am. I think this is it. Oh, we have a bush turkey, people. I love bush turkeys. Where is he? Ah, look at her in there. Mad. All right, sure, we might as well get off the bike and go for a little walk and see what we see here. We will park here. A few moments later. Anyway, we'll take an old stroll down here, see what the view is like. It's very sandy and uh, motorcycle boots are perhaps not the most uh, practical of footwear one could be wearing for this terrain. But whatever. We'll cope. Yeah, I think I think the view here is going to be pretty nice. Oh hell yeah. Yeah, that's not bad, is it? You'll have to forgive a bit of wind noise here, I'm afraid, but uh look at that for a view. That's Magnetic Island over there in front of us. I'm gonna go out there a day this week. It's a really cool place to uh visit. And uh, it's pretty easy to see koalas in the wild there too, which is awesome. And uh, that there is, um, I'm not sure where that is. I think that's actually a headland south of Townsville. It's not actually an island. And you can see Townsville itself off in the distance over there. That's Castle Hill. And that in front of us is the um, South Pacific Ocean. And out beyond Magnetic Island there is the Great Barrier Reef. The reef has been struggling a bit in recent years due to uh, coral bleaching. It's been so bad that uh, large swathes of it have been rendered whiter than a Dave Matthews Band concert these days. Although apparently there is signs of recovery, which is good. You can swim in the ocean at this time of year as well. Um, kind of swim in the ocean. Um, the main danger here in summer is the box jellyfish, which is, of course, the most venomous creature on Earth. However, there's none at this time of year. They're only around in summer. What you do have to contend with, though, is the saltwater crocodile. And there have been ooh, something like 20 croc sightings in the Townsville region this year so far. So, uh... While you can swim in there, I don't know if I would. Yeah, as I keep saying, I'm really doing it tough at the moment, am I? And there's the little yam. God, I love that bike. Right. 
Well, that was a nice little trip, wasn't it? Anyway, so now that my little mini life crisis has ended satisfactorily, I will be getting back to this YouTube business as often as I can. And as I said earlier, given that I have the next three weeks free, prepare to see a lot of me. Aren't you lucky? Anyway, if you are one of the numerous new subscribers I've gotten to my channel recently, I'd just like to thank you for subscribing and to welcome you all aboard. And if this is what your first time seeing one of my videos, again, give it an old like and hit the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Otherwise, folks, I will see you all soon. Take it easy. Oh, my God. I live here, lads. Not bad, eh? Yeah, it's definitely a day for a motorbike, isn't it? Not the only one who's had this bright idea.